there is a really cool technique that not only creates a nice looking transition but also adds a layer of storytelling and it is called the match cut and the most successful filmmakers in the world use it all of the time. But what makes it so powerful? You see in filmmaking it is all about continuity. Our brains really love patterns and connections. And you basically create a seamless flow that feels very natural and satisfying to watch. First up we're gonna create a match cut from shots that are all static. So for this example I grabbed a couple of stickers that all look identical as my main subject for this technique. And I chose walls and places that have really cool texture and this was by far the most fun part. Then I took up my camera, set the lens to 35 millimeters so it stays very consistent on all of the images and I took three steps backwards to make sure the distance is always the same, okay? Then I walked around to find different backgrounds and repeated this as often as I could. Cool. So let me show you how to pull that together with the help of Photoshop. Okay, so first I open up Photoshop and you wanna make sure your canvas is a bit smaller so you got some wiggle room to adjust things. When cropping your canvas, you wanna keep an aspect ratio of 16 by nine because that is how videos look like. So typically the center of the image will vary a tiny bit so you gotta adjust it. So first of all, I like to move this ruler tool up here in the corner and I like to draw these like helping lines so I know exactly where the center of the image is. Next, I just drag and drop the next photo into Photoshop and add it as a different new layer. Next, I like to change the opacity of the second layer to like 50% and that allows me to overlay things and adjust them like very easily. Now, when I'm done with adjusting, I'll usually change back the opacity to like 100% and I repeat this step for all of the images that I shot and I end up with a lot of different layers and the stickers lined up perfectly in the center. Cool. Now in the next step I'll export each layer as an image which is a super super convenient function in Photoshop. So all you gotta do is go to file and then find export and then select layers to files. Cool. Now we can import the whole shenanigans into Premiere Pro by going to File and you have a little box that says Show Options and you want to tick the box next to Image Sequence. And lastly I will show you how to do it for a motion video rather than still images. Now I shot a couple of clips where I specifically looked for round shapes. But you don't always have to do it the hard way and shoot everything by yourself which is like very labor intense. So that is why we're going to use some stock clips by Artlist who are also the sponsor of today's video. So thank you so much Artlist, you guys are really amazing. And in order to find matching clips I just search for the term circle. And look at that, you find so many cool shots that are just amazing to create match cuts. So now I drag and drop all of them onto the timeline and once again we want to make sure that the circle shape lines up in the center of the video. So ideally you want to use a timeline that is a little bit smaller than your actual clip. So let me grab this video right here and once again I'll change the opacity to like 50% and I'll overlay the video on the top layer and then I can move them around so they match up perfectly. And once I've done that, I change it back to like 100% and move the clip back to the end. And I change all of them to like 10, 15 frames. And then once again, I want to speed things up towards the end of the transition. So we are sort of moving into the cut. Now let's fast forward the whole thing and I'll show you the result. Pretty cool, right? Now, for awesome assets, I definitely recommend to check out Artlist. They are a subscription-based platform and got a variety of plans. For example, if you just want music and sound effects on your social media, it will cost you only 10 bucks per month. Plus, they also got other really amazing stuff like footage, AI voiceover tools and much, much more. And that will cost less than 40 bucks per month. Plus, if you use my link below, it will knock off another two months from the annual plan, which makes things even cheaper. They are also back with a 100k fund, giving one creator a $100,000 to bring their video idea to life. 
To enter, you just gotta post your idea on your socials, tag Artlist and use the hashtag Artlist100kfund. Easy. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on one of the next ones and there's a playlist right here as well that you might find interesting.